we are gonna be feeding all of the big cats. Mix him, we're mixing. Oh. Yeah, I know, you got a lot to say, buddy. Just look at those massive canines. What is up guys, welcome back to the channel. I hope you all are having an amazing day so far. So guys, in today's video, we are down at my brother's property and we are gonna be feeding all of the big cats. So we're gonna be feeding Nebula, our clouded leopard. We're gonna be feeding Cheech, Chong, and China, our male and female servals. So the first thing that we need to do is we're gonna head over and prep their meat bowls. All right guys, so we are outside and we have everything set up to make their meatballs. So here we have Nebula's bowl, we have Chong, we have Cheech, and we have China's right here. We also have our big cat vitamins, which is essential for the cat's growth. So the first thing that we are gonna do is we are gonna slip our glove on right here and this is the hand that we're gonna be grabbing the meat in. So of course, we don't want the meat all under our fingers. And the first bowl that we're gonna be preparing is China's bowl right here. So we have our scale right here and China is going to be getting 10 ounces of chicken. We gotta turn our scale on, all right? And one, we got our scale on. We're gonna make sure it's zeroed out. Put our bowl right here. Now we also have to make sure that we zero our bowl out so we get the exact measurement right. And we are gonna go ahead and open our meat up and look at that. Look how tasty that is. So first we're gonna grab our first piece of chicken right here. And let's see, we gotta get it to 10. All right, we're at four ounces. All right, six, eight, and... We're almost at 10. And there we have it, guys. Here we have 10 ounces of meat. So we're gonna go ahead, put our meat to the side, and then after, once we get all of the bowls measured out with the right amount of meat, now we're gonna add our big cat vitamins. So now we're gonna go ahead and we're gonna do Cheech's bowl right here. So we have to zero it out again. All right, zero it out. Here we have bigger pieces of chicken right here that we're gonna be using for the bigger boys. So now we have to measure out 16 ounces. So you can see that they definitely get a lot more. And there we have it. So we have 16 ounces in this bowl right here. Now what we have to do is for Chong's bowl right here, we're gonna have to put the same amount of meat. All right, now that we have finished Chong's bowl, we're gonna go ahead and put it to the side. And now we are on to Nebula's right here. So Nebula gets the same amount of meat, so she's gonna be getting 16 ounces. So we're just gonna go on ahead and start putting it in her bowl like so. And I think we're actually gonna use probably most all of this meat right here. All right, we're already at nine ounces. All right, and perfect guys, we are exactly at 16 ounces right here. All right guys, now that we have all our chicken added to our bowls right here, it is time to add some mice. So you can see we have some mice in our bowl right here. We're gonna be adding it to all of the server bowls right here, except Nebula's, because Nebula actually doesn't like mice. So we're just gonna go on ahead, add two mice to Chong's bowl, two mice to Cheech's bowl, and two mice to China's bowl. So now guys, it is time to add our big cat vitamins. So here we have calcium and here we have Oasis. Now each cat gets a different amount of vitamins. So the first thing that we're gonna start with is our Oasis right here. Now China, she's gonna be getting one scoop of Oasis right here. So we're just gonna go on ahead and sprinkle it all over her food. And now everyone else gets one and a quarter of Oasis. So we're gonna do one scoop and then measure out a quarter. All right, so there we go. And now we're gonna keep doing that to the rest of the bowls right here. So we're gonna add one scoop and then we're gonna measure out a quarter. All right. And now we're gonna do the same exact thing to Nebula's bowl. All right, one scoop and we're gonna measure out a quarter like so. Now it is time to add our calcium. So Nebula, Cheech, and Chong are going to be adding one scoop of the calcium and China's only be going to getting a half. So guys, once we have that all measured out, I'll catch you all once we go ahead and mix this on up. So we have got all of our vitamins in. Now we're just gonna mix them in, but another thing that we are gonna be adding is some special exotic cat food. So we're just gonna put a little bit on top of each. So we're just gonna put some on Nebulas, all right. We're gonna be putting some on Cheech's, okay. All right, there we go. And then we're gonna be putting some on China. Now the reason that we're not putting it on Chong's is because Chong didn't really take a liking to this special exotic cat food. So we're just gonna put it on these three guys right here. All right, we're gonna make sure we get the rest in there. And, all right, there we have it. So now it is time to mix this all in. Now this is the pretty gross part because 
this is just not fun to mix in. So we're just gonna make sure that we have everything nice and evenly mixed in, that our vitamins are evenly distributed throughout our entire bowl, like so. All right, guys, and there we have it. We're done with Chinas. Now we're on to Cheech's. Gonna make sure that everything is perfect. All right, we're going. And there we have it. Now we're on to Chong's. So we're all mixing, we're mixing. And you can see just how well and evenly when we mix it in that the vitamins just sit in there because if we didn't leave it in, well, it would be all powdery and it would be all gross. And then our cats would not want to eat it. So now the last bowl that we have right here is Nebula's. So we're just gonna Mix, 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 all right, and there we have it. So we have all of our vitamins mixed in, all of our different assortments of food. Now guys, it's time to feed the big cats. So we have made it to Cheech and Chong's enclosure. Now we already have one bowl of food in the lockout. Now Chong goes in the lockout right here and you can see these, these boys are going crazy. They are pretty angry with each other because they are some hungry kitties. Now the reason that we put them in the lockout to eat is because if we don't, we would have a massive cat fight on our hands. So you can see Chong right here. He, he knows the drill. He's already waiting at the door. So we're just gonna go on ahead, open this lock over here and let him in in three, two, and, and there he goes. He's going on, he is munching on his food. You can see he is one unhappy kitty. Is that some, is that some yummy food? How does that taste? And look, he just went straight for the mouse right there. He is just chomping it down. He is just enjoying his food right here. Isn't that some good food, buddy? That's so tasty. Yeah, I know, you got a lot of say, buddy. What, what are you talking about? Your brother's not gonna steal your food. So since we already got Chong in the lockout, he is eating his food. It is time to go inside and feed Cheech. And here we are with Cheech right here. So he is already munching and crunching on his food. Do you have anything to say about how good a food is? Is it really yummy? You can see he is just chowing down. Chong already finished his food and he is just diving right in. And he is just definitely enjoying his feeding right there. Isn't it so good, buddy? Oh, it's so tasty. So we are heading in. Jacob is giving me a hand right here with Miss China right here. We, are, we have oh, her new going She's, she's going, going, she's going. Hot, 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 hot. Oh goes. my goodness. You can see that these cats are crazy for their food right here. And look, she is just chowing it down. Is that is that good, Miss China? Do you have a lot to say about your food? Is it good? Is that very yummy, Miss China? Is that really good? So she is just nonstop chowing down. She got a little bit on her face right here. So this food is definitely China approved, but we're just gonna take a moment and look around her new enclosure. So we just moved her out about a day ago and her enclosure looks absolutely amazing. We have her little hut over here. We have a platform, we have a palm, and we have her hut right here. Miss China, what, what, what do you think about it? Are you enjoying your new enclosure? Is it so fun to play around in and, and just run around all day? All right, guys, so now we are in Miss Nebula's enclosure. So we're actually going to coax her to this post right here. And we are going to be hand feeding her this yummy, yummy meal right here. Nebula! Come here, mamas. You want to eat some food? So first, we're going to go ahead and grab our first thing to feed her. Oh, my goodness. That is so tasty. Just look at those massive canines. She is just going straight in for it. You want some, girl? Look, it's so tasty. Mmm, okay, I think she's, I think she wants to try something out. So we're just gonna get a giant handful of the chicken right here. Let's see, you want this, mamas? Oh my goodness, that tastes so good. Yeah, oh, so yummy. So actually hand feeding this pretty girl right here creates a stronger bond between cat and human right here. She trusts us, we trust her. So we're just gonna go ahead and grab another handful right here and she is just munching and crunching. Isn't that so yummy, girl? Oh my gosh, so tasty. Now guys, if you're wondering what the heck are wrong with her eyes, and if you all have been following the channel, you'll know that she has an eye disease that actually affects her eyes. She actually needs medication multiple times a day. And what's happening with her eyes is fluid is actually building up behind her eyelids and causing that white tint to her eyes. And this is one of the strongest girls I know because she has literally been through it all.
So we're just gonna let Nebula enjoy the rest of her meal, but guys, that is going to end today's video. If you all enjoyed today's cat feeding day, we'll give this video a big thumbs up. And guys, I want you to stop what you're doing right now and comment down below which cat you enjoyed feeding the most. Now, if you wanna see more crazy animal videos like this, well, what are you waiting for? Subscribe to my channel in the link down below.